Welcome to Omniology School. Today too, the third volume of Healthcare Science, Dr. Yangi Lee's health essay is serialized. I pray that you listen carefully and put into practice to show the true value of your life. Written by Du Kyung, Jeon Kwang Hoon, the principal of the Omniology School. Title, Healthcare Science Column by Yang Yi Lee PhD. 40. Natural Prevention and Cure for Gallstones Gallstones is a very well-known disease with severe pain. In particular, cholelithiasis seizures begin with intense abdominal pain in the upper right abdomen, followed by fever and jaundice over time. When these three symptoms appear one after another, it is often judged to be cholelithiasis, but in fact, Cholelithiasis may not have such symptoms, and cholelithiasis that feels pain is only about one-third. Therefore, even in cases where gallstones are reliably found in X-ray examination or the like, there are many asymptomatic gallstone holders. Cholelithiasis pain does not necessarily mean that there is a gallstone, because gallstones produced in the body are felt when the result is an obstacle to the flow of bile. Cholelithiasis is a disease in which stones, gallstones, are formed in the gallbladder or bile ducts. The reason for the formation of gallstones is that the components present in the bile, cholesterol-based components, and calcium components are condensed, resulting in insoluble precipitates. And these are combined again, and gallstones appear in the mass which interferes with the flow of bile into the gallbladder or bile ducts. Thus, gallstones are classified into bilirubin-based gallstones and cholesterol-based gallstones according to their main components. Bilirubin-based gallstones are frequently seen in Asians and often involve inflammation and are characterized by severe abdominal pain, fever, and jaundice and cholesterol-based cholelithiasis occurs mainly in the gallbladder and is relatively common among Westerners. And as a symptom, gallstone colic frequently appears. However, compared to the bilirubin system, the size of gallstones is small and the surgical results are good. Diagnosis of cholelithiasis is an X-ray picture called cholecystography, which makes it easy to know the presence size, and number of gallstones. However, it is difficult to know the number of small stones. Generally, when the size of the gallstone is large, the number tends to be small, and when the gallstone is small, the number is large. Cholelithiasis is a disease frequently seen in women, and the number of female patients is twice that of men. And the incidence of cholelithiasis in Korea is about 5% of adults. If so, one out of every 20 adults suffers from cholelithiasis, and it is a disease with a high incidence. So everyone should pay attention to its prevention. As a method of treating cholelithiasis in general medicine, a lot of resections are performed in modern medicine. Recently, Many methods of pulverizing the inside are used instead of surgery. If you look closely at the causes of gallstones, it is presumed that condensation occurs when the foods you eat have conditions in which soluble substances can change their solubility according to the physiological balance of the endocrine glands and autonomic nerves. Perhaps here, pH, body temperature, fat saturation, Composition of each component of the electrolyte, especially calcium, etc. act as the main requirements for gallstones. Therefore, in natural remedies, thorough health management is of the utmost importance, as it first pays attention to prevention and thoroughly practices diet management and health management. And dissolution and excretion are also possible in the early stages when gallstones are made. And as a meal to prevent gallstones, first of all, it is better to avoid fats, especially hardened oils with high saturation and lower overall fat intake. Second, in the selection of table salt, purified salt should be avoided. In addition to sodium, it is desirable to ingest raw salt, 
sun-dried salt, or rock salt in which all electrolytes such as potassium, magnesium, and calcium are balanced. In addition, it is desirable to avoid overeating or high-calorie foods, and to eat enough vegetables, seaweed, and to abstain from drinking and to quit smoking. Also, it is good to remove irritating spices. In addition, taking good care of proper exercise and bedding for warming up the body and keeping the metabolism active also helps prevent cholelithiasis. Thank you for your attention. The Health Column series continues. God be with you.